chances of getting another spot out of this and wide in the background goes Perez elbowed out by Muskowski he comes across the road and hits Hardwick who goes off at very high speed into the wall big impact two cars off that's going to be potentially a stoppage never mind just a safety car as they have to try and pick their way through the debris JC Perez ran out wide he came across the road clipped Hardwick Hardwick into the barrier and with two cars not quite blocking the track but certainly restricting the width I fear that this might end up being a red flag. It is, the race is being stopped, it's a stoppage. No safety car, but a red flag, a race stop. And you can clearly see why with the two North American Championship drivers in real strife. And um, what a very disappointing way to end what had been a very lively race. And on the count back, of course, Delanta Malagamur would lose that second place, potentially. So, Ryan Hardwick, who had that big, big impact with Perez, and then a second impact into the barrier, opens the door. But the former jet ski world champion, a little bit winded and a bit shaken, and also off the road has gone Tim Richards. I think that was a separate incident, but Tim Richards has gone AWOL. So, three safety cars and a red flag. But sadly, quite a bit of damage, and drivers, we hope, will be OK. The marshals and the extraction team will be on the scene there is ryan hardwick out of his car surveying the damage what a very disappointing way to end the weekend ryan having had his two class wins yesterday the innocent party in all of that it was mishkovsky up the inside of perez coming out of ravatsa that caused perez to go wide as he came back onto the circuit he clipped hardwick as you saw hardwick then fired towards the barrier and with a bit of damage at the front of his car, Tim Richards, don't spin it, Tim, after a red flag, please, heads towards the pit lane. That was at the start of Rivazza. He had his isolated moment. A really disappointing way to end the race. There, JC Perez out of his car, explaining to Ryan Hardwick, sorry, it wasn't my doing. I got squeezed, and I'm really, really sorry. But the good news is that both drivers are OK. No restart. Uh, the final result, then, will confirm a race win for Massimo Mantovani, second to Laurent Jenny and Cyril Lima, and third, Delanta Malagamua, with provisional champions being Florian Schultz and Philip Vlasic in Lamborghini Cup. JC Perez will win on the countback from Ryan Hardwick, and then Cameron Castles will be third. Gerard van der Horst's fourth, enough, I reckon, to give him uh, Lamborghini Cup honours within the world final points. But with two damaged cars and the circuit pretty effectively reduced to half its width, it was fortunate that nobody else got involved. Here it was, with the green flag being waved, up the inside went Mishkovsky. Perez got sideways through the gravel, clipped Hardwick, who got launched. Nothing, therefore, he could do in terms of retardation to slow down the car. It hits the barriers. Perez lucky not to get wiped out. This is Gerard van der Horst's view, and it's all kicked off ahead of him as he suddenly has to thread his way through a new chicane. So the race brought to a close, and two damaged cars. They will be retrieved. Uh, Massimo Mantovani takes a race win. Well, complimenti Massimo, because it was an excellent drive. He's not had a outright race win in Lamborghini before and if you can't stand the top of the car <laughs> you can lie on it and uh, embrace the machinery well done Massimo Mantovani then with a very well conducted car to a race win on count back at 20 laps uh, a second to the good over Cyril Lima and Laurent Jenny and when was the last time if ever a similar Sri Lankan driver was on the podium Delanta Malagamua uh, taking third place Oh, <laughs> my